be a big cat rescue in Tampa, Florida. We are here for breakfast time again. I'm just saying hi to Seth real quick, but we are actually gonna follow the center route for feeding today. So we'll see quite a few of our small cats getting breakfast today. Hi Amy, hi Deb. And this is Seth. Seth is waiting for breakfast. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Carmen. Hi. Hi, Annabelle. All right, so we'll leave Seth here. He is going to get breakfast here in a second. Our keepers are just loading up the feeding carts for their routes right now. Good morning, Diana. Hi, Mary. What are you doing, bud? Mr. Man! Yeah, it's breakfast time. <laughs> we are actually going to follow one of our interns today that's from Australia. She's going to be training one of our keepers, Mary, on feeding this morning. Hi, Carol. <laughs> All right, so we will walk over and meet our keepers that we're going to follow. Her. So you're training. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's Abby. Abby's our intern. She's actually from Australia. There are several people on here saying hello from Australia. Hi. <laughs> and this is Mary. <laughs> and you guys met Marie earlier. <laughs> Double checking the diets, making sure they have everything they need before we head out. So you guys are just kind of getting a little more of the behind the scenes of what the keepers and interns do from day to day. So today is Tuesday. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, it is a whole prey day here. So um, some of the cats still get uh, special diets that are in containers, smaller pieces cut up for them. Um, other cats are going to get uh, humanely euthanized rats and rabbits. So they're just going over the chart right now. Yep, you're correct. We're not a zoo. We are a, an accredited sanctuary. We're located in Tampa, Florida. We are getting the feeding routes ready and we're gonna head out and feed some of our big cats today. Hi Robin.
actually, we'll follow Marie for a minute. <laughs> you guys saw Seth and Andy yesterday, so we'll we'll go with Marie for Seth. Good morning. And then once the small cat diets are all ready to go, we're actually going to follow Abby and Mary. We really want to start doing this more often as well as following different keepers with different cats so you guys get a really good variety. Our bigger cats get locked out with what that means is we drop a separator door for them so that our keepers are able to safely get their food in the enclosure and once all the food is in there then we open the door and it's best of time and we do that for cougars and larger and then the smaller cats it's on a cat by cat basis some cats learn manners over time <laughs> and it's okay and safe to feed them. Here comes Mary and Abby, so we are going to follow them. <laughs> see you later. Yep, we'll see you later, Marie. So we'll try to maybe catch up with Marie a little later. Um, I believe she's going to feed some of the leopards on the routes. We'll walk by Andy and then we'll catch up with our feeding route. Here's Mr. Andy. Hi. Good morning. Yes. Morning, bud. We'll slip out of Andy's gate here. the difference between the feeding cart and the keeper cart. These are our feeders. Thank you for sharing. That's how we reach more people. Yep, you guys are going to see links and bobcats, servals, caracals, the savannah cat. Get over there. The feeding route is back there and they're getting started. Breakfast time is definitely the most exciting time here at the sanctuary. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Thank you. actually one of our small cat lockout cats so you can see that his lockout door is down he can be pretty aggressive for food so for safety for the keepers we keep his lockout down and he still gets a whole rabbit and that's pretty typical he's gonna take it where he wants it <laughs> Running Bear actually gets a rat. So what the keepers do after they have fed is this is our best time of day to observe the cats. So they will take a few extra minutes to make sure that the cats are eating on both sides of their mouth. They're not limping. They're not, they don't have any hot spots or anything unusual. It's a rat. So whole prey is really important for their diet. Um, when they would be in the wild, they would eat the entire animal. The bone and cartilage, the roughage, the fur, all of that's really important for their digestion. You're okay. Nobody's gonna take it. Uh, that's a great question. Yeah, the senior keepers are always, senior and master keepers would always be a route leader on a route. Um, so it's by shirt color. Um, you don't start feeding until you are a yellow level here. So the greens and masters would definitely be the route leader and they'd be feeding the biggest cats on the route. Whereas the upper level interns and in yellow shirts would be feeding the smaller cats. So we have Skipper and Gilligan. Hi, Gilligan. Gilligan's gonna get a rabbit as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she very much approves. And he's gonna take it where he wants. So that is what lynx would eat in the wild. Um, the snowshoe hare is their main diet. Should I guess Skipper? Skipper's one a lot of people don't usually see. So Skipper has digestive issues that cause him to be one of our special diet cats, and so he can't um, do large pieces of meat or whole prey. And Skipper and Gilligan are actually on our feeding tour. If you ever do a feeding tour over the weekends, you would see these guys. You know, these are humanely euthanized rats and rabbits. But some of them are still getting cut up red, um, which is beef and then chicken. No, he most 
most likely wouldn't have survived in the wild with those issues. Yeah, they come in frozen and we thaw them out the day before. Exactly, it's no different than if you had a pet snake and you were going to the pet store to buy it food. This is Loki. Loki is one of our newest rescues, and he's a savannah cat. in my distance from him just so that we don't startle him. Our most important uh, function of the day is to make sure the cats eat so we don't want to scare anybody. And a lot of these cats are going to have to get used to the fact that there is a camera following them around in the morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> Skipper again. Good job, Skipper. Loki seems to like his new home. He's always out exploring. Um, he definitely runs right out when he sees keepers because he does really enjoy food. <laughs> he's very curious, but he's very cautious. So too much movement kind of startles him a little bit. But if you just kind of stay calm, he'll eventually come right back out and over to you and sit close to you. So Loki's doing real good. Good job! Alright, we're going. We're going. Zucari is also on the naughty list. He is one of our small cats that is a lockout cat. And Zucari is a serval. see by those reachy arms of Zucari's on why he's a lockout cat. Thank you guys for helping me answer questions and post links. I really appreciate it. Hi Bridget!
So we've got a couple more servals. We also have, um, we'll see Beecher, we'll see Cyrus and Chaos. get the hang of it. Here's Miss Servi. Hi Servi. So Servi was one of the cats that got a supplement this morning and she has to wait a certain amount of time um, and then the meds person will come back out and feed her her meal. She's so cute. Thank you so much for your donation. Yeah, it seems so cute. That meowing you hear is Cricket, one of our servals. <laughs> yeah, no, that noise is actually Cricket. Beecher, uh, Beecher hasn't chimed in yet, but I'm sure he will. <laughs> yeah, Cricket is only talkative like that in the morning usually. It's so cute. All right, so we have Sheena. Sheena is also on the naughty list. She's one of our servals that is locked out in the morning for breakfast. Yeah, you don't usually hear a cricket very much, but it's always before breakfast. too up close to them. Like I said, the most important thing is that they eat and they're not totally used to someone walking around with a camera at this point in the day. <laughs> Shauna, it is really sad. Not 
Sukari walking around in the background. He's already done with his. He's got to come see what his neighbors got. <laughs> Bridget says hi, Marie. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> All right, come this way. So we'll see some more servals. We have a lot of servals. I'm gonna see Ginger, who you see on her cave up there. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Hi! This is Ginger, and we also have Zimba. See what's next. There we go. So Zimba has a larger lockout that we feed him in. This one you can tell is kind of shorter. It was made for a much smaller cat. He's a big boy, so he has a much larger one on the other side near Des Serval. Cutest noises in the morning breakfast. Yes, you hissy boy.
being so patient. Des is also on our naughty list. He's a lockout cat. Yeah, you get too excited for breakfast. Yeah, you do. I know. I know. <laughs> I know, bud. I know. It's your turn next. They're getting it. The naughty list um, pretty much just is compiled after you know trying opera just it's for the safety of the keepers basically so if you just realize the cat's not gonna learn manners and it's a danger to them and us then that's when the lockouts will be closed like I said lockouts are closed for cougars and larger no matter the cat um, the small cats are just evaluated by the keepers Yep, you're right. Des was found with three legs in Arizona. Here we go. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, it's very close, so we'll distract him over here. Yes. This morning, I didn't think about that. Come on. Desi. Des, what's this? Des. It's a good fake chicken. So what we're doing is the lockout um, rope is a little close to where he is, so we want to distract him to be able to get it. Come here, sweet boy. No, don't bite that. some more kitties to get to. So we still have Beecher, we still have Cyrus and Chaos. And we have Diablo.
Hutch over there as well. He's one of our newest guys. Yes, we do have an ocelot. Um, perfection's on the front route. We didn't follow front route today, but we will in the future. Frosty's a naughty boy as well. go today for everybody. He has this new thing where he loves to show things off to Hutch, who's his new neighbor. He's gonna go show Hutch what he got. <laughs> Raising it. Yeah. <laughs> he likes showing off for Hutch. see this noisy boy. There's a little more space over here. It's kind of a tight squeeze back there for three of us. Hi Beach! How's my Beach Boy? How's my Beach Boy? Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah. No, get your head in there. <laughs> You're such a bad boy. You're such a bad boy. Get your head in there. You're so rowdy. You're so rowdy. You put your hands. Ah. Yeah. I you know. You're such a bad boy. <laughs> there you go. You're so silly. You're just so silly. Um, Beecher's uh, serval domestic cat hybrid. Savannah cat. 
They just aren't usually this gorgeous. They don't usually look exactly like a serval, basically. It's got beautiful marking. His owner paid $15,000 for him. Oh, what was that? What was that? Yeah. He's next on the list. <laughs> I know. Good boy. Don't you spray me. No spraying, please. Literally, the grass is greener on the other side to beach her. You're so silly. Yeah, breakfast is important stuff around here for sure. We got Cyrus over there. We'll walk around and see him. Beecher's lockout's around the corner anyway. Are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Mr. Man. Hi, Cyrus. Good morning. I'm live on Facebook. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.